been a while since I made a video. I've uh, been busy on vacation and getting some other things done. So yesterday was a exciting day. We went about two hours south of here to pick up these evacuated solar water heater uh, collectors. This is a 24 tube uh, header here. Uh, all the brackets are included that will bolt it together. These are the cups that will go on the lower portions of the tubes, all the bolts. Uh, this is the um, it's like a, uh, a temperature grease that will go around the copper tubing and up into the headers. You can see the holes there where the tubes will go in. Uh, all the hardware that's needed there. So we have two of them. One will go on uh, the south side of the house and one will go on the north side of the house, but they will be face, well, one will be on the east side, one will be on the west side, but they will both be facing south uh, or southeast, but mostly south. Here are the roof brackets. Um, this, this will go on the beam under the roofing, and this is where uh, the white... Uh, brackets will bolt up and so the this will go on the beam the roofing will come down over this um, uh, flat bar here and then the channels will bolt here which will be just slightly above the roof so you can see there's a little bit of adjustment there on how how large it will be um, but the roofing will come down and overlap this and then this will come up and sit on top of the roofing. And then the, the bracket will be um, above that. So, and you can bolt some other metal um, to these to, you know, make them more angled, facing more south or more, or I guess, more toward the sky or more toward the ground, giving them an angle. Here are the glass tubes. Uh, they come 15 to a box. And this is what they look like assembled. You have the, you have the glass tube, which is very similar to how a coffee mug is built. So there is a vacuum inside the glass tube and then the copper pipe is is you can see there's an aluminum it's like a heat sink so it takes the heat from the air inside the tube transfers it to the copper pipe and there's a gas inside the copper pipe that will circulate up and down the tube making this top bulb really hot and then the, the paste that is inside the, there's a, there's a paste that goes around this that makes it get really good contact with the, with the header portion. Uh, inside the header here, this, uh, this is the paste and that makes it contact with the copper in there and water flows through the pipe um, and to a storage tank in the basement. So that's exciting. We'll be, uh, I'll start trying to install these brackets on the roof really soon. And once I have all those in place, then I can start assembling the headers and getting everything bolted together. Um, I still have to order the pipe that will connect all these together and get it to the basement. Uh, but I didn't know exactly what size to, to get. So now that I have them, I can measure this copper pipe and make sure that I'm getting the proper size um, uh, 
uh, it's a stainless steel insulated pipe. So I'll make sure I get the proper stuff. And, um, and once everything is assembled and water is flowing and working and there's no leaks, then we'll install all the glass tubes and put it to use. So that is something that will be, uh, videos will be coming soon on that. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in.